So we're all together because we all worked on different versions of the same story. And we're going to start with the version that was translated by Sawan and Alice. And Sawan is here. So let's ask Sawan how you found it. How was it to translate? Um, at the beginning, it was actually quite, um, I don't want to say easy, but sort of sim straightforward, I'd say. Um, a lot of the grammar was quite similar to modern Japanese. So it was nice sort of seeing how classical Japanese has morphed into modern Japanese. But having said that, towards the end, um, there's one sentence in there that I couldn't work out, Alice couldn't work out, all of us really couldn't work out. And I think we all guessed from context. Um, so yeah, that yeah. that was a bit of a, an obstacle, I think. But sometimes I think you just have to go for it and hope that yeah. it works. Yes, I, I had a look at that bit that you got stuck on and I was completely stuck as well. Um, but did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. It was it was kind of hard to work out what the joke was, though, um, especially at the end. It was very short. Yes. Um, but I guess I'd be very interested to see what happens with the Rakugo and how that kind of gets adapted when it's performed, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. OK, so let's have a look at... Joseph and Tien's, which you've gone for a really interesting approach with an emoji and a picture of a cat, which I really want you to tell me about. Yes. So we decided to go for a little more of a, uh, how do I put it, loose translation style than you would possibly expect from something written in the early 1700s. Um, if I talk about the rolling eye emoji, there is a word in the text, namusan kedo, which translates roughly to kind of like, damn, damn it, the kind of thing you'd say when you're annoyed. But Tian, um, well, I originally translated it in that way, but Tian mentioned, why don't we keep the idea of God? Because namusan is the, the Amida Buddha. And so I thought, oh God, but then my mind immediately kind of rolled my eyes as soon as I did that. So I was like, hmm, why don't we add an emoji. It's a new way to do it. And it kind of gets across the, well, not sarcasm, but the annoyance in a way in text yeah. more than just writing, oh God. Yeah. When I opened it and had a look at it, it really made me laugh. So I think it's quite <laughs> successful. And then I I think the cat was down to you, Tien. <laughs> uh, um, the reason why I had the cat picture is uh, me and Joseph, we were talking about what the joke, what, what was the joke um, in this passage, and we feel like the final part must be the joke, but we couldn't really figure out how to translate that on um, this linguistic humor, um, because um, shtauchi can mean both a sound you made while something is quite um, delicious, it can also mean the the cat uh, the sound the cats were made and making this face in this picture that's why we feel like maybe have some visual um, mm. um, visual elements here will help us to understand um, the humor here yes I think it worked um, and then the last one is me and Freddie which I remember very well finding it extremely hard what do you what did you think, Freddie? Um, I think, well, what helped me maybe make my way through it was speaking it out loud. Um, and perhaps something that all of these different versions of the same story have in common is that they're quite colloquial, actually. The, the spoken Japanese is much closer to maybe a sort of modern Japanese than I was expecting. Um, and a couple of the difficulties I had were resolved just by sort of going through it um, in that way. Um, but I think something that maybe we both had trouble with uh, was the sort of pronouns shifting perspective from the beginning into the middle and to the end. Um, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, because I mean, Japanese doesn't have, like, uh, modern Japanese doesn't have a lot of pronouns, and classical Japanese has like very few pronouns. And so you're always trying to work out who said what, and the person who's speaking can change or the person who's acting can change halfway through a sentence. And so it's really confusing. And so I think there are a couple of times where we just had to go with our gut or just see what seemed to make sense in the context. Um, but it, I think it's quite interesting that we all had quite different approaches to 
what's really exactly the same story. Um, and I think it was really fun. And I, I agree with Sawan. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how the Shinoharu Shisho mm. performance talks about and shows this story. So thanks very much, guys. <laughs>